Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the string.search method in JavaScript. So string.search allows you to conduct powerful searches in your strings. This includes searches for regular expressions and also simple basic strings. So let's see how this thing works. I'm going to define a new constant up here and this will be the string to actually work with. So I'm going to say const my string is equal to a pretty simple string. For example, how's it going? I am 45 years of age. Okay. So with this string, we're going to conduct two types of searches. The first one being a basic string search and the second being a regular expression. And the string.search method supports both of these. So Let's start with the simple basic search. All right. So before that, we'll just make a new variable up here called results equal to null for now. And we're going to change this value as we search. So to start with, we're going to say results is equal to the return value of the string.search method. So I'm going to say result equals my string and then call the search method. Now as you can see here, this will take an argument and VS Code is saying this takes either a string or it takes a regular expression object. With this one, I'm going to pass in a string. So I'm going to say going. Alright, so obviously going is right there. So this should give us a positive return value. This right here, search, will return you the index of the found string or the found match. So if I search for going, we should get a number in the console if I was to log out the value of results. All right, so I'm going to save this one and refresh the browser. All right, and we get nine right there. That's obviously here in the string we have, you know, zero, one, two, three, four, five, up to nine for that G right there. So that is the simple search. If I was to pass in something like a bottle that doesn't exist in the actual string, so it's not there, this time, if I refresh the page, we get a negative one. And that means that there was no match found. So what you can do is actually say, okay, if result equals negative one, and you can use that condition right there to check if, you know, something is present in your string. So that's that right there. Now, that's the basic search. We also have the regular expression search. And this is where the search method comes in handy. All right. So we're going to say regular expression search. Okay. Lowercase s for that guy right there. All right. So for this one, I'm going to search and see if this string, my string, contains two digits next to each other. All right. So I'm going to say result equals then my string dot search a similar thing this time I'm going to pass in a regular expression so I'm going to say two four slashes inside here I'm going to search for two digit characters all right okay simple as that so now if I log out results this time we should see an index a bit higher up, something like, I don't know, 15, 16. So now if I save this one, refresh the browser, we get 21, actually, 21, right there. So that's where it's most powerful. The search method is basically, I think, only used for regular expressions because it's just the power of it's amazing. It's sort of like the um, PHP preg match um, method, but that's how you can use the string.search method in JavaScript. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.